as everyone is uh, doing. Gotta, I guess I gotta respect the game. I uh, didn't want the, the screen to be set towards that direction, but it's all good. Low catch for Pow, and we're making up for the miss wide open in the corner. Dark Matter Hero Pau Gasol, a card that actually is pretty damn good. Uh, slightly worse than the Invincible, obviously, but still 7 foot, still 7 foot wingspan, still has set shot 16 on very quick, still has the shifty style with the penny size up, the Scotty behind the back, and the Vince Carter crossover. He also has a long at the layup package, and he does have some fancy dunking, which I'm not too excited about, but I'm a massive Pau Gasol fan, you know, watching the 2010 Lakers, him and Kobe have his uh, fun. So I'm pretty excited about him, but we've fully, fully stuck out all of his, uh, you know, stats, his badge, all that. We have a message from the sponsor of today's video. If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter, and let them know X sent you. All right, now we can flip over Pow. Check out the 99 offense and defensive overall, seven foot from Spain. And the guy is just absolutely great at everything besides that basketball IQ. As 95 in post fade and hook with the 94 control, 90 driving layup, 95 midi, 93 point shot, 90 free throw, 95 standing, 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, and absolutely beautiful playmaking. And the guy's got a 95 block, 87 steal, has an 82 perimeter, and a 94 interior defense. He is just all around absolutely amazing amazing uh 96 in both rebounding and 89 speed 87 speed ball 89 acceleration 97 strength and he has a great 88 lateral quickness all around he's looking pretty damn good uh, when it comes to our tendencies all around awesome for Pau Gasol 95 across the board and all the important tendencies and we have a total of 35 hall of fame badges which for Pau is pretty wham uh, catch and shoot, corner specialist, difficult shots, brick wall, which we love to see, uh, post pink technician, drop stepper, putback boss, break starter, dimer, which is amazing on centers, by the way, uh, rim protector, box, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, hook specialist, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post move, lockdown, tiles defender, worm, back down punisher, fade ace, limitless spot up, rhythm shooter, bailout, downhill, dream shake, needle threader, set shooter, quick first step, Clutch shooter, dead eye, and sniper, graced under pressure, and post playmaker. So you can kind of see Power set up to be a crazy good playmaking power forward. Now then we got 28 uh, gold badges just to help out. Acrobat, Lob City, Glue Hands, Pick Dodger, Mismatch, Lucky Number 7, Blinders, Circus Threes, and Chef, Giant Slayer, Pro Touch, Slithery, Unpluckable, Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Unstrippable, Bullet Passer, Ankle Braces, Fast Twitch, Menace, and Hustler. Essentially, what they want to do with this Pau Gasol is make him like a point guard power forward, like point center kind of role which is what they kind of did with his uh uh power within ping diamond it's gonna be pretty fun i'm pretty excited about it um i will say adding a posterizer hyperdrive quick chain things like that onto him really are gonna be pretty helpful to him if you do pick up this power and tend to use him for a while uh but i'm pretty excited to use them i think it's gonna be some fun set shot 16 is a jumper that i do like especially on big men it's nothing crazy but it is pretty damn solid and with his playmaking i think it'll be a fun power forward so with his height, it's going to be a fun one. Without further ado, like, comment, all that wonderful stuff, and let's hop right into the gameplay with Dark Matter, Pau Gasol. Alright, so our man just held us through a bunch of settings and has Kawhi, Invincible, Luka, he's got Giannis, Yao Ming, and Shaquille O'Neal, so I honestly shouldn't be surprised. His name is a Miami Sweats, I mean, he's ready. Probably might even spend more time in the settings than the actual game, but we'll have to see what's going on, and glad we are running a minute uh, to go against this. But Shaq, actually a pretty... Uh, a pretty scary one to go against, if we're being honest. He has switched some matchups so that, uh, oh, oh, what a, what a spin by, <laughs> what a spin by Pau. So that Giannis is guarding who he thinks is running the majority of the offense in Iggy, but he could not be more mistaken. All right, there we go. Stopping Luka is the, uh, I guess the main mission right here, because that seems to be who he wants to run majority of his, uh, offense through. Get this one back to Pau driving in and getting the dunk. Dude, this Pau is moving great for a seven-footer. My God. Oh, launch it. Pau kind of open right there. You know what? Fade away mini form, and that's going to be a green six and one for Pau. The fact that he's even doing this well against the squad like this, I'm, I'm honestly happy about it. All right, let's let's have how like cut to the basket or something or just uh catch the ball like that um for some reason Giannis was switched on to us and Manute kind of had some inside position I guess he doesn't anymore but it's still getting that fillet finish and the assist for Pau Gasol he's got six one one I mean he's having a really good game all right give this one to the uh the wonderful man Matisse Thibel and now we got uh Okay, we got Manute setting us screens. There we go. Pass it down to Pau, and he's getting that dunk. Eight points. Again, 
I'm, I'm liking Pau Gasol so far. He's hold, holding uh, Shaq to uh, limited stuff besides, basically, he's just a screen setter for this Luka anyway, but still holding him down, just can't get the blocks on Luka. All right, the one thing that Pau Gasol has been great for is kind of breaking this uh, this press that he's got going on on us. And uh, ooh, a little lost ball. Let's do a, a center to center dish down to form a new right there. And oh my lord, a glitchy layup that does fall in a second assist for Pau Gasol. Oh, there we go. Second rebound right there for the main man, Pau Gasol. Let's get a little pick and roll going with him. And uh, we're getting inside. And ooh, a little kick out to Matisse right there. And it's going in. Pau Gasol, a third assist. He is standing on the holy hell. Not meant to be dribbling, but he's, he's performing well. Okay, beautiful defense by us, but it does not matter because he hits probably one of the worst shots of the entire game. So now we got to do a little something, which is greeted up with DeAndre Iguodala to tie the game up with nine tenths of a second left. We got the ice out here. Beautiful screen by Manu. I just wish I was like a step behind. All right, here we go. Yet another one. Lethal shooter. And OT, Yao Ming versus Manu Ball. There's the toss up, and oh, we're barely winning it. Get it into the hands of the guy that matters. There we go. Toss that one down at 2 8. Manu, and we get the layup off of the Yao or the uh, the Pau Gasol assist right there. The man is showing why he's absolutely beautiful, beating one of the most uh, cheesy OP squads of the game. Yao Ming and Shaq screens, Luka threes is crazy. Uh, just showing you guys a quick little uh, stats for Pau. Eight points, two rebounds, four assists, one steal, four eight from the field. Didn't take any threes because uh, Shaq just wasn't letting him get open. But overall, a great game. Let's hop into game number two. All right, MJ, Luka, as is always a squad. LeBron, Taco, and Giannis, the most unfun games to play. But here we go. Uh, Giannis against Powell is actually a, um, a very solid matchup for him. Probably have to put Yao with the more, like, setting screens action than actually, like, running with the ball. But we'll see. Oh, there you go. Chris Mullen getting in the way, getting a steal right there. We can get the uh, pass to foul, and there we go. A little off-dribble jumper is going to be falling for him. Nice little greeny beanie. Okay, doing the Luka G's, as everyone is uh, doing. Gotta, I guess I got to respect the game. I uh, didn't want the, the screen to be set towards that direction, but it's all good. Little catch for Pow, and we're making up for the miss wide open in the corner with a four-point greeny beanie right there for Pau Gasota. Guys, just beautiful six points and a quick little board. All right, there we go. Good defense by, uh, I think it was Matisse Thibel. We uh, do have a kind of open uh, Pau Gasol. Let's give him a little off-dribble love right there, and oh my lord, it was a late white. But it's falling, Pau Gasol making up for the uh, the mistakes of missing that open catch and shoot three. There we go, locking up Jordan. Good board by Pau right there, and look at him. Oh, slinging the ball up. Not the most amazing pass accuracy right there, uh, but it is what it is. Let's try to let's try to hop into the screen. A little, oh yeah, a little fake there. Run it out. Three pointer is green for Pau. Twelve points, two boards. The guy's having himself a game. Oh, and uh, after another bad time jumper with a uh, wide open Giannis, we get it quit. So, uh, obviously, I think the thing that everybody's going to know is that, obviously, set shot 16 is still not a great jumper. I think it's, um, of all the set shots that they give big men, aside from, like, 25, obviously, it's definitely one of the better ones. It's better than 17 and 18, in my opinion. Uh, but it's still not, like, a top-tier amazing jumper. But what you do, I guess, lack with a, a great jumper in POW, it, you get with just absolutely amazing playmaking out of a center uh, or power forward. Shifty, Penny size up, Scotty behind the back. He's got the long athlete. He's got really, really good playmaking. I mean, coming with bailout, brake starter, dimer, and needle thudder, all in all the fame is great. Um, definitely give him a posterizer because we were not able to dunk on Yao, Taco, or anybody like that without it. So definitely give him an add and maybe even a hyperdrive, quick chain handles for days if you plan on dribbling just a little bit. Um, I think it'll definitely help out this Pau Gasol. But got him for like 50k and he is an absolutely amazing power forward. He's super tall at that 7 foot with a 7 4 wingspan. He was guarding Invincible Shaq like it was nothing. Um, obviously, there's better options like Kareem. But for his price, I think Pau Gasol is going to be absolutely amazing. And even getting that Invincible prize is going to be pretty fun. I would just probably not pay anything above like 150, 200k for him. So I'd like if you guys did enjoy. Comment below what you guys think of Pau Gasol. Make sure you check out in the link description down below our wonderful PG Andre Iguodala gameplay down below. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Buy it cheap and safe. NBA 2K22 MIT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPAR, that's E-X-C-A-P-A-R, for 5% off your entire purchase.